Congratulations on the purchase of your Liquid Force Kite that is equipped with Max Flow Inflation. I'm going to show you simply how to use Max Flow when inflating your kite. The first thing you want to do is always leash your kite to your pump. Next, remove the neoprene safety cap. What this is on there for is to prevent the actual cap inside from having any abrasion on the canopy of your kite. Undo the Max Flow cap. Now you'll notice inside here there's a red flap that is a two-way valve. You're going to want to make sure that this red flap is rocking freely back and forth when you inflate your kite. If it is not rocking freely back and forth, it's very easy to reset. You're just going to reach your finger down in there, pull on the little yellow tab, and that will reset it to make it rock back and forth, eliminating any back pressure back into the pump due to our very large oversized valve. You're going to need the special Max Flow valve attachment on your pump. Very simple to do, it's just a pressure fitting, you push it on in, and then you're ready to inflate your kite. That will inflate about 40% faster than any other inflation system on the market, and it will also deflate faster. So when you're done, finish pumping up your kite, we recommend six to eight pounds of pressure inside your kite to go kiteboarding. You're gonna remove the pump, that two-way valve on the inside is going to lock the air in, so you can see that we don't have the cap on yet, but air will not escape. But you do want to put the cap back on. Screw it on only finger tight. You don't need to crank down on this, as it's only a secondary cap to cover the two-way valve on the inside. Reposition your neoprene safety cap on the outside, and you're ready to go kiteboarding. Say you got to the beach and you forgot your pump, or for some reason you lost your special max flow nozzle, we do have a backup system on our kite. It's your standard 9mm valve, which is basically equipped on about 80% uh, of the kites out there on the market, so you can borrow another pump if you, forgot your, if you forgot your pump. Or, on ours, we do give a backup nozzle with the regular 9mm. Simply undo that. Make sure that your max flow cap is completely covered up and just in the inflation position and then you can go ahead and inflate your kite with the 9mm inflation. You're going to pull that up. This is a one-way, two-way valve so a ball will come up preventing air from escaping and then reaffix your valve and you're set to go kiteboarding. To deflate your kite, it's simple. You're always going to want to use the max flow, undo the safety, protective cap, undo the max flow cap, simply reach in, depress the yellow tab, pushing the red flap down inside, locking it into this position, allowing all the air to escape from your kite. Now you can go roll in your kites to the middle, roll in your wingtips to the middle. All the air is going to escape freely without pushing out the other wingtip once you have that one already rolled up. Very simple, very easy, very quick. That's max flow inflation.